12 months ago, I released this video here while I was walking on a treadmill explaining that I had stopped selling all my private label products on Amazon. And I think I'm finally ready to go into more depth about why that is and what I'm doing instead. When I started learning how to sell on Amazon in 2017, I learned that you should sell low competition, high demand products. And the first product I ever sold was this product right here. It's a mobile game controller. Now they look like they have gotten a little bit more fancy since I was selling them. They literally used to be like uh, plastic triggers that you would attach. Yeah, like this. Nonetheless, I sold this product and I made $9,000 in profit my first month, first month selling it. And soon thereafter, profit went to near zero because so many competitors entered the market that I had to drop my price so much. I had hijackers on my listing. And that taught me my first very, very valuable lesson, which is that low competition markets become high competition markets. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna be showing you a solution to this, but there's some important details we have to get through first. I thought maybe it's the product that's wrong. So I just need to find a different product. This one will work surely next time. So I started selling this product, Wizard Wand Makeup Brush Set. Started selling pretty well. Again, product prices trended down towards $7 time I think they were close to 20. Fast forward a year or two years I start selling this product I successfully sell it I make a case study about it on the channel again prices start trending down it's not profitable for me to sell anymore. There's three specific pieces of criteria I need to share with you to make sure that this problem doesn't happen to you. So the first way to identify that this could potentially happen to you is that it can't be easy to source on Alibaba. So if I were to just go to Alibaba and I was to search macrame shelf, like the product we were just looking at, if I immediately start getting all of the relevant results that I'm seeing right on the front page of Amazon, that's kind of a red flag for me. I know there's gonna be a lot of competitors, specifically Chinese entrepreneurs and maybe even suppliers selling directly on Amazon, as we can see with our wonderful Helium 10 software extension right here, showing us that all of these are Chinese sellers. In fact, there's fewer American sellers than there are Chinese on this market. Competitors are gonna flood in when it's easy to do so. Second thing you have to look out for is that the customer's not an enthusiast. They're not excited to receive the product. So you wouldn't wanna sell a product like toilet paper, which is just truly a commodity and not for an enthusiast in any way. I mean, maybe there's toilet paper enthusiasts. This is not something people are generally excited to have to repurchase. Some things where you purchase them, and it's exciting for me, that might be something like a long time going to the local fly shops where I live here in Washington and like getting new materials is a very fun thing to do for me. That's a way of understanding if they're an enthusiast customer or not. And then the third piece of criteria before we get to the ultimate solution is the customer has to care if it works better. There's a reason that this mouse trap has sold so well for so long, the product's hundreds of years old. It's because it works fine. Made a product that no one really cares about getting a better form of, and you have a better form of that. We see that on Shark Tank all, all the time. I'm out. Or if you wanna secure your future in a market where customers are excited to buy from you, come back to buy from you, and wanna buy from you, keyword you, more so than anyone else in the market, I'm about to show you how to achieve sales like this, $42,000 in the last month, and to achieve returning customers like this, 100 guaranteed sales, then all you have to do is replace one single word. Instead of selling in low competition markets, sell in old competition markets. Old competition markets look like this. They have a product that the customer actually does care about the dream outcome. Okay? They want their dog to be healthier. They have brands that have been there for many years serving them the same old products with no improvements in design or in the quality of the product whatsoever. If we were to look up the sales revenue using Helium 10, $261,000 every single 30 days, almost 10,000 sales. Now there's generally not immense brand loyalty causing this to happen. It's not that everyone loves Nutramax, it's just that they've been there for a while and they do a pretty good job as we've established. Now key thing to note here, the search term is fish oil for dogs. Look what happens when I simply search that as if I were the customer and see what results I get. I'm immediately blown away by the attention to detail and the feeling that I get when I look at this zesty pause. For me, that's the clear choice. And pulling up the revenue for this page, if we look at what seller is doing the most, surely enough, it is the modern, well-branded, well-thought-out presentation. They're doing two million dollars in sales every single 30 days. Just find a boring old market that customers need something from. And the key part is that they're excited or care deeply about the outcome of using that product. This is impacting their dog's health. 
A dog is an extension of a family. If I were to buy a macrame shelf, if I made a $600 version of that, or even just a twice as expensive, people don't necessarily care about the outcome. Okay, now for the sake of my own business, I'm not gonna reveal exactly what it is that I'm selling, but I will give you a few characteristics of the market so you can resemble and model what I did, what I went for, and what the things are that I thought were important to look at. So out of the top 10 sellers in the market that I'm currently selling in, one seller sells more than $100,000 per month, nine sellers sell more than $10,000 per month, and nine sellers have over a thousand reviews. So if you were to cross-reference this information with some other things you may have heard about Amazon, it's quite a bit more, okay? Because it's just as hard and takes just as long to create a small product in a small market than it does to do a big product in a big market. There's just more upside if you win in a big market, but you have to be that much better at knowing who your customer is, curating a perfect product and offer for them. Now, other audience notes. So the customer actively posts about this product and their hobby on social media. So if you were to go to Instagram, if you were to go to TikTok, there would be content relevant to this product on there already. The next would be that there are videos on YouTube with millions of views talking about how to do this hobby. So you can gauge the enthusiasm of a customer by going into to the market as if you were one of them just trying to learn that thing for yourself. Then lastly, there are forums online with thousands of searches about how to do this. So that lets you know that customers are engaged here and it also tells you exactly what to do because they're gonna be talking about the things that they wish were different, who they are as a person, why they like this thing, etc. Now, my approach is as follows. Make the best product in a market in a standout, edgy, branded package, different than anything anyone has ever seen in a market like this. Old, boring competition, new great product with phenomenal packaging. Now let's look at a few examples of that. One of the brands that I case studied and actually referred to my package designer and our photographer when we were coming up with the creative for our brand used this as the market that they jumped into and changed the direction of. So Polar Seltzer, something we all know immediately, intuitively, has been around forever and we understand. Pretty boring commoditized product until liquid death shows up. They, they are the cultivation of taking something boring and making it great. Old competition market, not low competition market. The competition's huge, but the payout can also be huge as well, which is why they're now a nine figure company and they're probably gonna be a billion dollar company. Right, you might be scared thinking, how can I make that leap? I don't know if it's gonna work. It's a lot of money to do stuff like this. And realistically, it comes down to just one thing. It's modeling. They took a beer can and they did that style of marketing in seltzer. Seltzer is no longer just for middle-aged people who don't want to drink soda. It has more appeal than just one customer. Thought about that and saw the popularity of straight edge and of people of mo drinking mocktails and not drinking alcohol and they said, what if we just took that feeling and put it into something that was just water and you could drink out at clubs when your friends were all drinking cans that look like this, you can kind of fit in, right? So they understand their target demographic. That's why I stopped selling my private label products and why I started a one product made in the USA brand in a very large market. Be sure to watch this video right here to learn how to find products like the ones we discussed today. I'll see you in there.